I am back in Tribeca and it is hot, hot, hot today, <laughs> but I am seeking solace inside of the galleries and we're going to see some of the last solo shows before the onslaught of group shows for summer. And we're starting off in Bortolomy Gallery to see an exhibit by Ivan Morley. And honestly, this is the kind of exhibit that makes me so happy that I'm capturing this art on video because honestly, you'd never be able to see the incredible detail in these works just in photographs and particularly on, you know, an Instagram screen or whatnot. I think the thing that was most surprising to me, even standing in the gallery looking at these works, were that these are not paintings. I don't know if you caught that by that close up. I'll try to get more. Morley creates his works by sewing them in embroidery thread. He dampens the thread so that the watercolor underneath bleeds up through the surface. And it just creates this incredible effect. I mean, I don't even know how we came up with this technique. It's so creative. It's so stunning. And what's cool about it is the effect really blurs this line between tapestry and painting like I've, I've never seen before. And the gallery describes their work, I think, perfectly, saying that their chromatic combinations surprise, evoking the ethos and immediacy of gestural painting despite their slow and methodical creation by sewing machine. Like the fact that these works are created on a sewing machine, I'm, I'm dying. And the exhibit is titled Hyperion, and it's inspired by Hyperion Avenue in LA, which is where Morley is from, where his longtime home is. And apparently Hyperion Avenue divides Silver Lake and Los Feliz. And so not only does it represent like an actual divide, but it represents this crossroad of cultures for the artist where both neighborhoods sort of offered him different types of inspiration and influence that's present in these works. We're gonna head over just a few doors down to an exhibit at 55 Walker Street. And this is a space that's actually shared between a few Tribeca gallery spaces, but this exhibit in particular is put on by Andrew Krebs Gallery of works by Darren Bader. And this exhibit is really Bader's way of expressing his poetry in the form of fine art that people can consume at their leisure. And if you've ever wondered what a conceptual artist is or what conceptual art looks like, this is a really great example of that. If you're not familiar, conceptual art is where the concept or the idea involved in the work is actually more important than the aesthetic or the traditional aesthetic per se.
there's something about looking at these giant, almost word docs and emails that are being recreated on the walls. There's something comforting about it in a way and humorous because it is so familiar to our everyday lives. And there's also something anxiety provoking <laughs> about it. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of how I feel. Next up is a group show at The Hole's second location, their Tribeca gallery space. And this exhibit is titled Density Betrays Us. And honestly, like this is really the A team of group shows. So don't, you know, don't expect potentially this caliber of group shows moving forward in the summertime. There are so many incredible artists involved. I was so excited to see some of my favorites. And the exhibit as a whole is curated by three individuals, Andrew Woolbright, Angela Dufresne, and Melissa Ragona. And the show was inspired by an article that was written in White Hot Magazine a few years ago that discussed the theme of phantom bodies or essentially the body in the digital age. And there are a few different ways that this is represented in the works. So some works reimagine the body in post-humanist terms by showing it as overly evolved or overly sexualized. Some work explore, some works explore the figure dematerializing or becoming sort of one with its surroundings as almost like camouflage. And some works really just question how figures as a whole are represented within portraiture. And there are a number of works that are a part of this exhibit. There's kind of too many to call out. So if you're interested in exploring who each individual artist is, I will have linked information down in the description box below, just like I do with, with all of the shows that I'm introducing to you guys.
Another exciting aspect of this exhibit was the expansion of the Holes Tribeca space to now include this lower level and it almost doubles their exhibition space. So I'm really excited to see how they utilize this for future exhibits. I think they did such a great job of dedicating this to more video and sculpture art that really deserves to have more space where you can kind of sit and enjoy it and, and really walk around and absorb it. The final stop of the day is so colorful. It's like if your imagination just exploded, <laughs> essentially, is a really, really fun one for summer and just in general. And it's an exhibit of works at Nikel Bouchin Gallery by Panayotis Lucas. And the exhibit's titled Blinded by Choices. And this is actually a new artist to me. He is an Athens-based artist, and this is their first exhibit in North America, which is very impressive to be debuting in New York and super exciting for them. And I think the gallery described it perfectly. The works are a blend of psychedelia, folklore, horror, and popular culture. I mean, there's just so much to unpack here visually. But there is one theme that kind of is threaded throughout all of the works. They're all centered around domestic spaces. And I think it's actually really refreshing how the focus isn't on any particular human form, but on objects and animals and kind of almost shines a spotlight on their importance, almost in contrast to humans. I think it's very much in our nature for us to become absorbed with ourselves <laughs> and so it's quite nice to actually see fine art really bring those things that are normally set more in the background to the forefront it's quite fun to look at As always, thank you for coming along with me. It's super busy, hot, hot day in Tribeca, but it was great to hang out. Let me know down in the comments which exhibit you like the most and if there are any cool exhibits going on either in your city or if you are New York based, I would love to hear it and I will see you all next time.